person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. Those powerful words have been etched in history for 50 years now. Title IX works to prevent sex discrimination in educational institutions. It's created more opportunities for academic scholarships, protections against sexual harassment, and increased in participation in girls' and women's sports, which is what Title IX is more often associated with. I spoke to some coaches, athletes, and activists around Northeast Indiana about the impact Title IX and sports overall have had on them. Access and opportunity, two guarantees of Title IX, particularly for girls and women in school-sanctioned sports. It's something Wayne girls soccer coach Dana Green is grateful for. I've always been able to stand tall because I knew I had a seat at the table. Title IX created more academic and athletic opportunities for women. One of the main tenets, a school must provide proportional athletics opportunities that mirrors the ratio of male to female students in the overall student body. While that's improved over the years, Brandon Pagorski, director of Trine University's Center for Sports Studies, says there's still a gap. It still lags behind men um, a little bit, almost 60 to 40 percent if we're thinking about as far as uh, scholarship money, but it's been hugely impactful and it's given girls tons of opportunities. And now we're seeing more high school girls scoring goals, draining threes, hitting home runs, all because of Title IX. In fact, the National Federation of State High School Associations says girls' participation in school programs has increased more than tenfold in the past 50 years. No matter what I was doing, whether it was applying for this job, whether it was playing this sport here at Wayne High School, we were always protected as females. We never felt ostracized just because of who we were. That wasn't always the case before 1972, something Harriet Miller and Monica Worley know well. They both went to school before Title IX passed, and after, they worked to advocate for equity for women through the Fort Wayne Women's Bureau. And we were just about providing services, education, and advocacy to eliminate racism and sexism. One of their biggest accomplishments was Run Jane Run, which started as a three sport event and eventually grew to 12, with 3,000 women participating. To this day, we still run into women who grew up before Title IX and will come up to us and say, I played third base on X and X softball team. Do you remember that time? And so it was a very important time for adult women in sports. This just goes to show what access to athletics can provide women. Sharon Jones knows firsthand. She's a bus driver at Northwest Allen County Schools, but she also won a gold medal in the 200 breaststroke at the 1968 Olympics. Jones says she learned a lot from swimming. Life lessons, 100%, and I've used that in everything I've done. You learn to be dedicated, you learn to work hard, you need, learn to work through um, hard times. Sometimes you're not doing good, you gotta work through it. And Green says the connections she's made through sports and the ones her athletes are making right now are invaluable. It just creates this community that is vital to your personality to your success outside of life. Even if these girls don't go on to play college soccer, this high school experience will impact them for years to come. And while Title IX has made a difference, there are still inequalities between men's and women's sports. We'll talk more about how a school stays Title IX compliant and achieving equity in women's sports after college later this week.